Hello, in this video we're going to look at how we can be a little more efficient in our setup and make use of some of the various tools that are included in Turtle Art. So if you look at the, the, the process here you might notice something interesting and what that is is that it's repetitive. Take a look at this forward right, forward right, forward right, forward right. We're performing the same process four times. It turns out in your flow command, there's a really nice um, tool called repeat. So if we drag this repeat in here, and we see that we need to repeat it four times, so we're going to change this from 10 to 4. And all we need then are these two simple commands. So let's drag these ones off. And there we go. We still get our square. Because, but what's happening now is the turtle is going to come into here. It's going to walk forward right once, forward right twice, forward right three times, forward right four times. And this is a, a technique we use to optimize our code. Whenever we're programming, we're really trying to keep an eye out for, for steps that are repetitive. And we use um, a structure called a loop. I'm not going to go in and really define what a loop is right now, but we use a loop. Um, and formally define a loop. And what that allows us to do is to simplify or reduce the amount of code that's needed. If, for example, I wanted this turtle to walk this square and then do something when it's done, I could then add some other command back here. So let's have this guy then, I don't know, let's have this turtle go back a hundred. So the way this will work now is going to come in here, it's going to run, work out the square, and then walk backwards a hundred. Watch. We get the letter P. And that is a little bit more of an efficient way to have our turtle walk out a square. I hope this video helped.